It was just my luck. The mailman put a box in the mailbox and it doesn't fit. The lip here is smaller than the lip on the other side. Welcome to Vlogtober. Welcome to another episode of Craig Talks About It. As you saw in the intro, the mailman decided to put this box in, the mailbox, which fits perfectly into the back side of the mailbox, but it doesn't come out the front. So I have a hole in it. But anyways, what is in this box is something from a... Polar Pro, who offers uh, lenses and just uh, filmmaking equipment, gear, ND filters for phones, drones, cameras, the whole, the whole lot. And I have purchased the Filmmakers, the Light Chaser Pro Filmmaker Edition, which comes with several items that I am going to be using to hopefully make this vlogtober uh which will be similar to post post ember where i uploaded a video every day for a month which is also what i'm going to try to do so the first thing in here is looking pretty fancy is a grip and uh i'm not really sure what the button over here is for maybe that clicks into something i don't know I have to figure that out. I mean, I'm, I'm shooting this video on my phone, so I can't really put this stuff on there and then show it to you because I don't have any other way. But this, you know, it gives you something to hold on to, you know, like when you're, you're filming. Uh, I'm not really doing like a full review of this because, I mean, there's probably a hundred other reviews of the same kit on YouTube. I just wanted to have something to, uh, Help make this Vlogtober successful, better, more cinematic. Uh, yeah, you know, just, uh, you know, invest in myself sometimes, you know. Next up here we have the, the phone case. It's pretty sweet. You know, it's got the... Uh, Put your phone in there. Like I said, I can't put it in there. I'm filming with my phone. You know, it's got the buttons. It feels pretty. It feels better than the one that I currently have. And you know, and it has the section here on the front to hook the the lenses onto, which I will get to. And I think that this guy, you know, hooks. It has these little slots along the top for to place the grip onto. So let's uh, let's try it out real quick while we're just uh, sitting here. Maybe like right on the end, or you know. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. See, I, got, you, I can get into that. I could definitely. That's gonna make it. You know, I feel like you know. I don't even have to try to hold my phone. It just. It just does. It just does it. I still don't know what this little slider's for. I'm sure it does something. I don't know though. Is that for taking it off? Or what? I don't know. Well, now it's on there, so I gotta figure that out. Uh, let's see, last in the box, we have you know, this, the circular polarizer filter, which this is to get rid of like glare on water or glare in uh, windows, you know, just. Uh, to just make things look better you know i don't know exact. i don't know all the science behind it i want to say it's similar to like putting sunglasses on your on your camera if i could take a guess at what it is uh, gonna do i do know that it is gonna make the shots look better that's just what it does it looks like we got some stuff here we got Cleaning cloth, some uh, an 
instructions in the case itself. We tried. Oh, there it is. Let's see. So you hook this, I'm guessing, onto said phone case. Maybe, if I can figure it out. I'm sure I will get better at this as the days go on. Oh, oh. And then what? And then, oh, and then this comes off. And there it is. You can't even tell that it's on there. That's pretty nice. Now it's polarized in different spots. So as you turn it, it changes. So, you know, you can be filming and, you know, slowly change this or this. And, uh... I'm not really sure. I mean, I'm looking through it. I don't really see too much of a difference with the naked eye, but you know, let's see how that goes. That'll be helpful for getting uh, rid of some glare, which is something that I've definitely noticed on the iPhone that happens. You get glare. So there's that guy. Put that back in the case. Next we have the variable ND filter. It is a filter that's made to block light from entering your camera. This is when you have too much light coming into your camera, your shutter speed has to go way up to compensate for it. And then you lose out on motion blur, which makes things look more realistic. You know, that's how our human eyes see things. And uh, right off the bat, I am not very good at opening these yet. I'm sure I will figure it out over time. Oh my gosh, that one's really tight. I don't want to freaking... Okay, now. That's not... Should be easier to open than that, right? I shouldn't have to... Get the old price, the old pry keys out, huh? Maybe it's just stuck. Has it been opened in a while? Been closed for some days. I also don't have fingernails, so there it is. Now this one you will you will see as I put it after I put it on there. see that it's darker, a darker color. And uh, as you spin this, you get, right now it's set to three stops. You know, you could flip it to four and five. Five stops of light on the main, on one camera at a time. So, you know, it just helps to give yourself a better look. And it just looks cool. And I do like that they have this cut out on the side here. So there'll be no problem hooking in any kind of you know, external microphones like I use or anything. So I think uh, today we'll just do like a comparison video. You know, I'll go out and uh, take some shots without the filter, with the filter, and see how it does. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'm just going to leave it off on a cinematic edit of these shots. So we'll see you tomorrow and the next day. And the next day, 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 and the next day. Thank mm -hmm. you.